Welcome back to Spider-Man Whip of Shadows. Before we start, I really want to apologize for the last video. For some reason, after the Windows 10 update, OBS kind of reverted back to default settings and it didn't have game audio, it didn't have uh, my voice, it didn't have any audio at all. And I couldn't fix it, so I just uploaded it that way because I can't go back and replay the part that I've played already the save file doesn't work that way so I just decided that I'm gonna upload it like that and today we're using a new mod this is the spider-man edge of time it's supposed to be it's good and then we have this one which is the classic symbiote let's go to King Queen Tower oh hello I've been playing a lot of Fortnite in the past couple of days I've been trying to grind XP and get my season level to 55 so I can get the mask for the Omega skin. Which is awesome. I'm 46 right now. Uh, I got all the tiers up to 100. Come on, get up there. So without having a battle pass to grind. Oh shit. All I need is to get my season level. I think this is our first meetup with Black Cat. If I remember correctly. Let's see. And there we go. Yep. Hold on. Something's up. Uh-oh. Not her. I think she was just a symptom. We're going to find out. We're going to have What? Maybe we're gonna take the emblem. And this one. Oh, that was awful. I love what they did with Black Cat in this game. She has a nice design. The voice actor. Our actress. What the fuck are you doing, man? 
You were supposed to fucking web zip. She's gonna wait. I know there's another one there, but I don't want to keep her waiting. Oh, you think you're the only one who can go fast on walls, huh? Oh, you should be careful what you wish for, girl. Hey. I don't want to get caught in my web. Give me those legs. What are you doing? She's so beautiful. That's why I think she's perfect for Spidey. Unlike the stupid MJ or the smart Gwen. They suck. They're not a good match for him. You know, he doesn't have to save Black Cat all the time. And not only that, but she knows how to have fun. She's not going to nag you all the time. I know. Oh my god, you think this is the first time I'm playing the game? Oh, I like chasing her, man. Ever since Spider-Man 2. Chasing Black Cat is awesome. I mean, she's a girl worth chasing. And she's leading me into emblems and all that. Awesome. Hey, baby. Damn right. It's not what you think it is. I mean, it's partly what you think it is, because it is goblin tech. What? How did I miss that? Yep. You think I don't know that? Will you let me fucking play?
I was a piece of cake. None of you. Kind of are. Oh man, I hate to fight her. Hello. Okay. I know what you want. How can you miss her? You don't hit me while I play with my girlfriend, all right? You stay out of it. Come on. Come here, you fucks. Especially when you fight those guys. I know. It is actually. Oh, you don't talk about my outfit. Fuck, I can't see shit. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Oh, there's another one. You get fucked up. I don't see. Shit. I, I'm not sure if I have the counter with this on this suit. I know it comes by default on the black one. I'd, I'd have to check that. What? Oh, I've been pressing the wrong button. Oh, I do have it. Come on. What a pussy ass voice. Ouch. You don't give her enough time, man. It's your fault. It really is. See, this game doesn't have fall damage. I don't know why people are so fucking bummed about Spider-Man PS4 not having fall damage. Where do you think uh, experienced Spider-Man who's been doing Spider-Man stuff for eight years is going to let himself fall and splat on the ground? No. And if you want and go and say, I want fall damage because it ag adds to the experience, well, you then you fucking suck at video games. Free from want, free from responsibility. 
All right, this is one of the really important choices on how the story is going to play out. And if she is going to be a part of the story, you know, like in the core. And I've I've actually I don't think I've only chosen this option, the red one, this once just so I can see what the fuck happens. But you know, my favorite one is this. You go black. You have fun. She guides you through a couple of missions. She's always there to help you out. It's awesome. Always choose this option. Always. This option? Fuck it. Never. Never choose this option. Always choose this option. Boom. What a lovely couple. And now she's always on your side. It's awesome. Oh, anything new? No. Is this a slam? Yep. Uh, Alright. It's awesome. You can just stand there and look at her all day long. Uh, you know, I was thinking about, uh, let's see first if we have any optional missions. No, not yet. Of course I am. Whew. We're gonna save three civilians. Come on, I want to see it now. God damn. We're going to chat a little bit about me. Pun intended.
a lot of optional missions. We're gonna do a couple of them. Seriously, man, I was thinking about talking some more Spider-Man PS4 stuff. I don't know. Come on, how did I miss that shit? What? What's going on with me? Oh my god. Oh man. I haven't played in a couple of days and look at what happens. Well, you killed your own friend. Man, I'm, what the fuck is wrong with me? Man, stop that. Whoa, I got one not even seeing it there. Damn. Whoops, didn't mean to break your shit. It was an accident, I swear. There's plenty of stuff to be excited about Spider-Man PS4. Oh, shit. I mean, when... When they finish... You know, uh, fixing up. All the animations. It's gonna look good. It's gonna play good. The web swinging is good. At least from what we saw. The combat system is nice. And it looks way better than the amazing games. Which had one of the most horrible butchered fighting systems that I've seen. It, you know, from all the gameplay videos that we've seen so far, the animations were, you know, kind of the biggest problem. Because you have like... Uh, Something that Venom 2 million pointed out in one of his videos about uh, the teleporting guys when you try and put two people with the web wire and they kind of just teleport. Yeah, it looked kind of silly. Get back here. Pop. We don't know much about the story. I'm pretty sure we're not going to see 
Mr. Negative as the main villain. I can bet on that. So we're going to talk about the story when the game comes out and I actually play it. And I'm going to make videos about it as soon as it comes out. I'm going to start doing a walkthrough, share all my opinions, everything I see and find in the game. I, I feel good about the game. I mean, it has the essentials for a good Spider-Man game. I mean, it's going to have an original story. The combat system looks good. The swinging looks great. I mean, I can't talk about the combat that much because, you know, there's upgrades and all that, so... Until I get to play the game and feel how it works for me, you know, alongside the swinging itself, I can't really talk. Because a lot of people were pretty positive about The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and it turned out to be a huge flop. Come on, am I not going to see more of those big, big guys? There's no civilians either. Let's go fight a little bit of those. A little bit of those dudes. Also, I just have to defeat 50 of Kingpin's guys. It doesn't matter if they're big or small. Well, that's good. I didn't even see that. I was behind you the whole time. should have picked a better job no I guess he didn't think that far that spider-man is gonna show up and ruin his day Those gangs? Nope. Oh yeah, I forgot that we're done with the gang wars. We found truce. Come on. Oh, the tree's blocking my view. Hit him. He's still alive. Wow. Ah, man. I can't wait. September cannot come any faster I mean don't get me wrong I'm not like praising the game and saying that it is going to be 100% the best Spider-Man game I'm saying that it has 
the needed parts to be. Is it going to be? I hope so. I really, I really hope so. I wouldn't be happier if it is. But we'll have to wait and see. Well, he disappeared so fucking fast. What was I supposed to do? You saw how fast he disappeared. That was bullshit. That was fucking bullshit, man. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Take that. I'm gonna take care later on. Stop targeting him. God damn it. Oh man. Come, oh, come on, I didn't mean to press it twice. Uh, we need a little bit more. We need to find civilians too. I don't know what more I can say for Spider-Man PS4. I have high hopes. Hello. District Hospital. Man, I'm making the hospital so much fucking money by sending people in. Hello, take that and that. You're welcome. Bop. You got bop the fuck out. You got flanked. Wait, I didn't mean to do that. I really didn't mean to do that. Oh 
man. See, even though this game has flaws, I'm enjoying it. I mean, I don't like the story much, but we have a good web swing. We have a nice combat system. And some good voice actors. It's an overall good Spider-Man game. You know, and if we talk the one that almost everybody thinks the best Spider-Man game, you have Spider-Man 2. You know? And there's a reason that it's considered the best Spider-Man game. First of all, the web swing is, you know, a little bit difficult for some people and it needs getting used to practice. You have variety in the combat system, which is great. Where are you going? You want to take a car with you? Here. No problem. You don't want it? Do you want the taxi? Whoops. That's my bad. Hope you don't die. Uh, let's finish this one. And we're gonna we're gonna end it there. Spider Man two. Like I said, a good variety in the combat system. I mean, your fucking counter has like four or five different options. You can web after the counter. You can do an uppercut after the counter, which is, you know, good for single enemies, you know, a single target. You have the leg sweep, which is good against multiple targets. You have a normal counter that I don't I don't remember all of them, all right? I haven't played in a couple of weeks, so I don't really remember everything. But the city, you know, events that happen when you help citizens. The voice lines are always the same. I mean, you have like five, six different ones and they repeat every fucking time. So it gets annoying when you have to do the city events to collect um, hero points. Uh, I'm going to need your vehicle. And there we have it. Like I said, it's it gets annoying when you hear the same the same lines over and over again. And the missions are repetitive too. But the game has a good story. It doesn't follow the movie exactly because otherwise it's going to be a pretty short game. And you see characters like Rhino, Shocker, Black Cat. And it makes the game even more interesting. But, like I said, the swinging is amazing. Probably the best swinging in Spider-Man game. Uh, the combat system, like I said has a variety it's not dumb by pressing one single button and doing the same three fighting animations you know alongside with a counter button you have a counter button you have different options for counter and you have a lot of different combos that you can choose from
The same with this game and the upgrade system. It is one button by just pressing X, but you can chain up with the special attacks and you can go in the air and combo in from ground to air into a web strike and all that or into a special so it's good and the amazing spider-man games kind of ripped off the arkham combat system and that's not necessarily a bad thing the problem is that when you try to copy something that is good and you butcher it people who play it and see it at similar feel bad because the arkham combat system is amazing you have one button for combos and one for counter but the animations are so fluid so smooth that you feel good when you fight people in the arkham games they didn't change a lot throughout the games that they made. Rocksteady knew what they were doing with the combat system. Don't fix tr or try to fix something that ain't broke. The combat system is so good. That's why they didn't do a lot of changes. They just added new animations. But the flow of the combat in the Arkham games is what makes it so good. And I really hope that Spider-Man PS4 tries to get that flow of combat that fluidity it's gonna be amazing if it actually works like that because the amazing games like i said combat system atrocious web swinging the same no skill to the web swing you don't have momentum you don't have web zip had the stupid web, web rush that you would use mostly because it's faster than the web swing. What was the point of having web swinging in both games? While in the second one it looked better, it didn't feel better. Those games are the, the lowest of Spider-Man games they can get. They're the worst from the worst. The worst of the worst. So, everybody has high hopes for Spider-Man PS4. So far, looks very promising. And I really, really hope that everything that we've been waiting for to have in Spider-Man game is going to be in Spider-Man PS4. We're just going to have to wait. So, these are my thoughts. I could talk about Ultimate Spider-Man 2, but I don't want to make the video any longer so we're gonna talk about that in another video thank you guys for watching subscribe as you help me out and the channel grow and as always i'll see you in the next video